When the 20th International Tampa GLBT Film Festival opened, bigger than any star who might have been on hand was the city's new police chief, Jane Castor, the first woman to hold the job, and the first lesbian to hold the job. Like a good public servant, she had no trouble pressing the flesh and accepting congratulations. Here's her take on making history. Tell me how the job has matched or mismatched your perceptions. Well, I was prepared for the job. You know, I've been working closely with the previous chief, Chief Hogue, for four years now as his assistant chief. But I think um, the part that I didn't expect was the overwhelming number of people that uh, congratulated me on becoming the first female chief. So that was a little overwhelming. And uh, your sexual orientation is also um, groundbreaking for the position. Uh, what has uh, the implications of that been? You know, really, there hasn't been much talk about it. And I think that's one of the great things in Tampa that I don't think that being a woman or my sexual orientation plays that big of a part. What the people, the citizens of Tampa want is a good police chief and a great police department. And, Hopefully they've got the good police chief. I know they have the great police department. Um, do you feel as though you're kind of uh, an example? Sure. I, what I have, That's always a tough question. Right. Are you Well, what I've said to model? everyone is that I know, uh, you know the significance of being the first female chief is not lost on me. I understand the responsibility that goes with that as being a role model in the community. But really what I want to be known as as not the first female, but as a good chief. What is the number one um, problem facing Tampa that you would like to see cleared up? Well, we actually have had an amazing uh, success in crime reduction. We have brought our part one crime down over 50%, it'll be 53% at the end of this year over the last seven years. So our mission is very simple. It's to reduce crime and improve the quality of life through a cooperative partnership with the community. And that's exactly what I continue to do. Having worked in Los Angeles and living in Chicago, I know that both uh, cities uh, have uh, programs where they actively recruit uh, LGBT people. Mm -hmm. Does Tampa have something similar? We don't have a program, but uh, most of our recruiting, our department, well, compared to Chicago or LA is rather small, but we're considered a big city uh, police department having a thousand police officers and most of our officers are recruited through word of mouth and we have a very large gay population in our officers both male and female good for you mm -hmm. thank you very much for taking no the time problem. I know you're very busy no and continued success the chief doesn't seem to be looking too far down the road just yet of course she's still new to the job it seems that for right now she's just enjoying the ride I'm Steve Kometko for MyCommunity.com.